Good evening, everybody. Or afternoon, early afternoon. I've been cleaning house, and I'm going to make me some uh, kicked up Raymond noodles. We get these at the food pantry. And I know they're not real healthy, but um, I'm going to try to add some ingredients where it'll be a little bit more healthier. The stuff I add will be good. Okay, that's uh, garlic powder. That's two cups of water, a little over two cups of water in here. A little crushed red pepper for a little kick. A little uh, dried chives. Stuck to my hand. Let's add a little, oh, way too much. Little paprika. Uh, let's see what else we got up here. We gonna add a little turmeric. A little turmeric powder. Y'all, I've got to get some turmeric growing in my yard. Uh, I've got my ginger started good. A lot of my stuff is, you know, this will be going on the third summer, but two years this July that I've been living at this house. And uh, <clears throat> my yard is finally taking shape. My neighbor told me yesterday I took some plants over to her and separating some plants out and I took her a couple of things and uh, I was telling her to come look that my yard was looking good and she said, like, girl, your yards look good. It looked established when you moved there. <laughs> Y'all, but it to me, it, it doesn't. Okay, while my water's coming up to a boil for the Raymond, let's switch you around over here. Y'all will see probably before this video is released. I got a whole bunch of cucumbers yesterday at the food bank. I'm going to take some of my tahini, or that's how I say it. I, I'm not sure. I've heard in other videos that's how they pronounce it also. So I dug to the bottom of the container and stirred it up real good because, see, it looks like a it's sesame seeds, and it looks like a natural peanut butter. So the oil separates, so you have to get it mixed up really, really well. And y'all, mm, let me lick it off my finger, because I like it. I like it. It has a good, a good taste. I use it for a lot of stuff to get the, uh, the extra protein. Uh, one tablespoon has four grams of protein. So usually two is what I use in a, when I'm making salad dressing. This is my pineapple vinegar. Uh, I just released that video. So I'm just gonna make me a little, a little dressing. Let me start with one tablespoon. I'm gonna put this over my cucumbers to eat on the side with my kicked up Raymond noodles. Okay, we're gonna need another spoon. That's not quite loose enough. Whoops, that was a little bit more. It spilled over. I just want it where I can pour it over and cover my cucumbers. And I'll show you as soon as I get it mixed up. Now see, when the water starts, that was a little thick, but you gotta remember that water's gonna come out of these cucumbers while they sit here. Well, that's going to be my salad. That's my pineapple vinegar that I made. You can use any kind of bigger vinegar. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. Very good. 
Very good. You need a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so delicious and refreshing. And taste that little, little fresh uh, taste of the of the pineapple vinegar is just enough that you can taste it. It's not overwhelming. You wouldn't need, I'm telling you, if I was eating that at somebody's house, I wouldn't even know it was vinegar. I'd have to ask them what it was. Pink Himalayan salt. I don't think it would need any pepper, but if you wanted pepper or any other kind of seasoning. But see how that's already loosening up? So remember, don't make your, don't make that dressing for these cucumbers too loose, cause it'll be watery. See, cause that's, see how that's already getting, getting more liquidy. So remember that, like when you use tomatoes and uh, cucumbers and things that pull a lot of water, that have a lot of water in them. But see, that's our salad. Okay, let me taste and see if that salt got it to where I want it. Mmm. I know y'all hear me smacking. Mmm, y'all, that's so good. Very good. I have me a big glass of, uh, y'all can see where I peel my cucumbers over here. Ooh, I'm ready for lunch. Let me tell y'all. Okay. Put you back this way. Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with this tripod. It's got to where it wants to lean to the side. Okay. Our, our, Seasonings and our water is all come up to boil. So now how long do these things have to cook? Let me get over here by this light. Three minutes. Cook noodles, three minutes. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. Y'all, when, uh, when the three minutes is up, I'm gonna come back and show y'all what we're gonna do to this. Y'all, I thought it was video and it wasn't. This is a duck egg that I got from the ducks this morning. I'm gonna poach it. I'm gonna poach it in that, in that water, in that uh, seasoned water while uh, the Raymond's cooking. I forgot to do that when I ended the video. But uh, let's see if we can get y'all over here where you can see. See the egg right there? I'm gonna poach it uh, for lunch to go to go on my soup. So when the noodles get done and the egg is poached, uh, I'm gonna come back and show you how we are gonna kick this up some more. Okay guys, I think our Raymond's about done. Our three minutes went off. That's done. I got a head of a cabbage yesterday at the food bank. That's just a little bit of cabbage, shredded up real fine. I went out to the garden and picked me a big handful of bok choy. Y'all know I love my green vegetables. <clears throat> So we're going to steam that down. And you know you can add any kind of meat you want to in here. Uh, I made another one, remember, and put that uh, chicken. Another soup and put that chicken. I'm just showing y'all that y'all can do this with uh, with Raymond. Uh, I do this with canned chicken noodle soup. Uh, whatever I have, they give us a whole bunch of chick canned chicken noodle soup a while back. I've been doing this at lunch with the, I may show y'all with the can. Just, you know, uh-oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. So now I'm just going to cook that till my cabbage gets to where I want it. And we'll be back. Okay, y'all remember my vegan beef crumbles? I hadn't used this in a while. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of that in there. Just to show y'all that, you know, try something different. 
Okay, the, the pasta's taking up a lot of the water, so I'm going to add some more water because I want it. Um, I want it soupy. So there's a lot of flavor going on there, guys. Garlic, turmeric, crushed red pepper. Uh, what else did I put in there? Ooh, I wish y'all could smell this. Man, it is smelling, smelling so good. I don't think our cabbage is quite done enough. Uh, I'm going to let the cabbage cook for a couple of minutes probably, and then we'll come back and show y'all the finished product. But it's going to be good. That's going to be enough for two. Uh, I've learned from doing this. It's enough for two meals when I do this. So, y'all, how cheap can you get? That is, oh. well, since I didn't have to buy any of it, it's free. But even if you had to buy the Raymond and a bag of greens, I mean, how much would that be for a serving? Uh, and the vegan beef, I got that whole bag on sale for, what, five or six bucks? I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look in the food video, the food hall video, Kroger hall or whatever it was. Uh, but it was on sale and sometimes you can buy one, it's like uh, $8 or something like that. You buy one, get one free. So that's $4 a bag. So uh, that may be how I got it last time actually, now that I'm thinking about it, was the buy one, get one free. No, that was the chicken and the meatballs. But they do have that the same way. So I just wait for it to go on sale or wait till I have like a $1.50 or a $2 coupon. And uh, I get a lot of meals out of those bags of vegan meat. A lot of meals. Very cheap. Way cheaper than meat. Regular meat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this simmer down and we'll be back. So for those, for those of you that don't know about this meat, I'll read on the back. Three-fourths of a cup, which is probably about what I added to this whole thing of soup. 17 grams of protein. Two grams of sugar. Five grams of fiber. Uh, eight carbs. Uh, no fat. Uh, 1.9 milligrams of iron. Uh, no vitamin D. 80 milligrams of calcium and 540 40 milligrams of potassium. I get this at Kroger. So, since I'm, you know, working on trying to get my cholesterol down for the newbies that don't know, I've been eating a lot of the vegan meat, which I wasn't a big meat eater anyway. Meats never. Sometimes I want a good hamburger very rarely do I want a steak occasionally, but I drowned it in some kind of barbecue sauce because I don't want the, the taste of the meat, <laughs> which always makes the steak eaters around me really upset. But I've always been that way. Okay. Let me taste my bok choy. Mmm. Still good and crunchy. Very good. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Mmm. Y'all, that's going to be so good. Going to be so good. There's our poached egg, duck egg, from my ducks. Fresh, fresh laid. Just got it out of the yard. Y'all, I'm just glad that God let me like different food. That I'm not just one of those people that just turns their nose up at anything, anything different. I love trying new food. Love it. And very rarely do I find anything I don't like. I'm just, I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed like that, y'all. I'm adventurous with food. 
Okay. Let me turn y'all around here. This lighting over here might be a little bit better. I can't lean it sideways, y'all, because let me turn the camera around. I'm going to spill the soup out of it. Okay. I put a little black pepper on, uh, on my duck egg, my fresh duck egg from my ducks. And, uh, that's our bok choy and our, uh, which is a cabbage and then our other regular head cabbage that we got at the food bank and the, uh, rain and noodles is from the food bank. So this is my kicked up version of rain and noodles. Y'all try it. Don't turn your nose up. And we do have our vegan meat, our, uh, our beef. There's a little bit of it right there. It kind of cooks. It kind of cooks to pieces when you're when you're boiling it. But the meat's in there. The vegan beef, the uh, beef crumbles. It's in there. So uh, I'm getting a lot of protein. It'll be very filling. And uh, I'm sure the powder mixture that was in the ramen is not the best for you. But uh, the bok choy and the cabbage and the egg is good stuff, y'all. So y'all make you some soup. I just, like I said, I use what I have. I try to kick it up a notch to make it have a little bit more flavor. Uh, here's my salad. See, it's been sitting and see how runny it's got. So y'all make sure if y'all make that salad dressing, you leave it thick because look at that. That's the water that's come out of those cucumbers while this uh, soup was cooking. So that's going to be my cucumber uh, tahini with my uh, fresh pineapple vinegar that I made and there's a video on that how to make it and then when I poured it up there's two videos on that and also the strawberry vinegar so y'all go cook you something good let me know what it is let me know what you would add